No, my phone making noises. Uh, okay, thank you very much. There's a fuzz on here. Oh, all right. There. <laughs> oh my god! You can't have money, blessings, favor from God, and edges. You know, you gotta pick some. <laughs> we'll get her from. Jesus. Yo, what was that? I was gonna say they got birds in their car. <laughs> yo, yo, good morning. I am sitting outside of the nail salon and I'm about to go in when they open up in what, four minutes? I'm about to go in in four minutes and do my nails. I have not been to the nail salon in a very long time and if you don't already know, I don't go to the nail salon. I like to do my nails on my own, but I am doing a travel prep vlog situation as you can see here and doing my nails is one of the first things that I need to knock off my list. Now, you know that I do press on nails and I swear by them, I live by them. I will, I don't think I'll ever stop doing that. Here's the problem though, because I do press on nails, I mean, I do the bare minimum when it comes to cleaning up my cuticles and stuff like that, but you know, you need a manicure. I need for it to be just done well, you know? I just need it all to be cleaned up, you feel me? Okay, so what I'm doing right now in the car, believe it or not, is picking off my press-on nails. These are ready to come off. So when I pick them off, they're not painful, nor is it a laborious process. They literally just come right off. So let's do this one. I go slow, cause like, come on, who wants to be tearing off their nail like a psycho? And here we are. That's how my nail looks, nothing too chaotic. It's not like it's extremely, you know how when you take off acrylic nails, if you take it off like that, it rips your nail into shreds. It ain't looking like that. My nails don't be in that kind of time. So I am literally taking off my nails in the car and I'm gonna go inside there. I'm gonna get a manicure on my hand and I'm using the nail to pick up the other ones. Look, they're coming off very easily. I'm gonna get a manicure on my hands. I need it so badly. Then when I go home, I will do my own press-ons again. I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the short ones again, right? Or should I do a long one? I like the long one. I don't know, let's see how I feel. I think I'll do the long ones because I have a whole stash of these press-on nails linking everything below. I have these real short ones and then I have the long ones. We'll see how I feel. I carry nails in my suitcase too. So if they get busted up on vacation, I can always take them off and then put on a new set, okay? Not my phone making noises. I, okay, thank you very much. So yeah, and then I'm gonna get a pedicure because I never get those. And the last time I got that was on the trip in Toronto when they did it for us. So while I'm here, I might as well just do it, have them take off the nail polish, put back on my white nail polish because I like to do my white toes. I would do a French on my toes, but my toenails are dark. If you know, you know. And they're not black, but they're dark. So when they do that, what, pink or you know, pearl base and stuff. It'll be hitting how I want it to do. So let's just do all white on the toes. I'll go home and do my own situation. So let's go do that. Yo, I, listen, whenever I get a pedicure, I'm reminded why I really should do it more often, but I just don't because I also enjoy doing my own thing on my own time for myself. You feel me? My feet feel so soft. Granted, the lady even said it herself. She, she didn't have to do much because I already always exfoliate my feet. I use the pumice stone. I use different products. I'm always taking care of myself. You know that? And then when it came to my hands, yeah, the lady did have to do a lot of work because my hands needed some work with the press-ons, just life in general. They had, there was a lot to be done there. But I chose the most expensive foot manicure and she was doing a lot of work. That whole thing took me two hours. See, this is why I don't like going to a nail salon. I don't have two hours every two weeks to go sit there. I just don't, I'd rather be doing something different, but it's nice to do and I am gonna continue doing it maybe once every three months, something, whenever I feel like a girl, just to have that touch up, especially for my fingernails, especially the whole manicure, it's a must. So I'm gonna wash my hair in a bit. I just got a package in the mail from Saks. I purchased this because you know how much I love candles. So I am gonna take this with me on my trip because uh -huh, I want the place to be smelling good. It's gonna be a long trip, so the big candle does does make sense. And then my sister wants me to give her the candle when I'm done, which I don't mind doing, so. I got the Baccarat Rouge 540 candle because I'm that chick, you feel me? I mean, what? I have one here, 
that I actually have not even opened. I'm gonna put this in my carry-on because my suitcase is very, very heavy. I do have two suitcases too because what? And I'll link my suitcases and the luggage tags that I love to use below in case you wanna do that. And the handheld scale because you gotta weigh your stuff, you feel me? Because <laughs> I don't like surprises when I get to the airport. Mm -mm. It's the same time for surprises, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, now we're in the bathroom. It's time to, oh, gonna stretch for a second, so I'm tired. That, that nail salon is just so relaxing because of the chair massage, then the hand massage. I was like, how am I supposed to go about my day after all this? I really should have went there at the end of the day, but I don't have time because I just don't have time for a busy life. Okay, I'm going to shave my face right now. I'm going to exfoliate my face before I shave it. And then I'm going to shower, wash my hair, exploit my body, and go from there. I am actually really glad that I had to change my laser appointment because I'm doing my braids tomorrow and my laser appointment was, it's just a lot of different things. I had to change the appointment, but I almost forgot that I cannot be in direct sunlight after I have my laser done because my skin is too sensitive. It's just ill-advised. It's not a good thing. I completely forgot. So I'm glad I had to change my laser till after my appointment because you just should not be in the sun like that. And I'm going to a tropical location. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to shave because you're supposed to shave in between your laser sessions anyway. No nair, no waxing, just a shave. And I'm not terribly hairy, but I can see the hairs. For instance, on my arm, I do have some fuzz. It's very thin. If you're next to me, you can see it. It is thin but I'm gonna shave it anyway because I do full body laser that includes my arms up into my shoulders all that stuff I'll do all that stuff in the shower so right now I'm gonna do my shaving let me exfoliate first my face I'm going to do a gentle exfoliation oh my god you let's see I have a new razor I've been using one from tweezer man but I use it already and when I shave my face I like for the razor to be fresh it just works better and actually this reminds me let me pull out a fresh razor for the body. I'm using this Venus Gillette situation because you want to just do a fresh razor. The one I got in the shower was oh honey. What's going on with this? Comfort Glide. Why does it look like it's frosty? Oh, this smells good. Wow, this smells really good. This is the refill for the situation. Why does it look like there's fuzz? There's a fuzz on here. Huh, is this going to exfoliate me? I don't have time for this. I don't want any games. So here's the situation. Boom, 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 zoom, zoom, zoom. Just gonna go in the shower. Because listen, even just for yourself, just for me, I like to look and feel and smell my best at all times. So this does not mean that somebody gonna rub it all, rub it all up on you per se. This is just for self. On this channel, we do things for self, okay? Oh, I have something new. Let's use this. What's on? Kiehl's sent me this Rare Earth Deep Pore Minimizing and Polishing Powder Cleanser. Okay. Let's use this. It's got salicylic acid, so it's going to penetrate the pores, break down the oil inside the pores. This is great if you have whiteheads, blackheads, acne, you need sal acid. And if I recall correctly, this is like the Dermalogica product powder, right? This is a powder, you mix it, yeah. This is an AHA, excuse me, it's water soluble. Less strong than the BHA, but still good, okay. Okay, gently shake before use. Dispense small coin-sized amount directly onto wet hands. Work into, okay, it's just like Dermalogica, work into a light foam. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna wash my face first and then exfoliate and then shave. That's really the way to do it. With any kind of exfoliation, be sure you're using your sunscreen regardless anyway you need to be using your sunscreen, but you definitely need to be using your sunscreen when you are exfoliating your skin, okay? I'm gonna wash my face with this Youth to People Kale and Green Tea vin Vitamins. Good God Almighty, vitamins. What is this? Super food cleanser, that one. I've enjoyed this several times before in my life. So let's get this going on. Give me some water, get this sudsy, you dig? My face is washed and it's wet, so let's just leave this on and start off with this product, this powder situation. Ooh, okay. A lot comes out of this big old hole, so that's good. Let me wet my hands some more and work this into, yeah, into a lather. I'm gonna make sure I avoid my eyebrows because hello, micro shading. I can feel the little granules in here, so I do feel like it's giving a scrub. 
which feels nice. Got to get the forehead and the hairline right in between the eyebrows. I used to neglect that and I could just tell before. It was just not okay. Sides of the nose, don't forget that. And right under the lip. These are areas that are easy to miss. Let's get that taken care of, okay? This feels good. It's giving a nice scrub. With the hairline baby okay and then it's easy to do the sides of the nose and then neglect the tip of the nose okay let's get all of that boo boo <laughs> if you're exfoliating your skin before you shave your face let me know do you even shave your face girl let me know because if you don't you're missing out but if you're afraid of it because you're some people put an oil on their face i tend to do my shave on dry skin i want to try this oil shaving out but i'm not used to it so I just don't want to. But if you prefer to put something on your face, feel free to do that. I like doing this in the sink because it gets really messy. So I can just rinse it down the sink when I'm done. Look at that hair. My hairline definitely gonna be given hair. I do laser this area, but you know, I'm still in the process. So the hair is still gonna grow, you know what I mean? Pull the skin taut to avoid cutting yourself. When it comes to sideburns, just so I don't look like I have a lineup in it from the barbershop, I just try to do it a little haphazardly and even my actual hairline. I go like this in a circular motion again so that it's not giving you've been to the barbershop. You feel me? That's not what I'm going for. I want my natural fuzzy hairline to still be there, but I still want to shave my face. I do shave my brows because I like to do my makeup brows differently than my microbladed brows. So I'm gonna shape these up and take off the tail. That's just what I like to do. And we are gonna go right in the middle here. And again, I'm going fast because I always do this, but take your time <laughs> when you're doing it, okay? Uh-oh, not me bleeding. Uh -huh. Disregard, I was being a little rough. Make sure you are much more careful than me, okay? The makeup goes on so much more smoothly when the face is shaved. Again, with their superfood cleanser, it is gentle, which is a good thing because we just shaved my face. Don't use anything harsh, anything with AHA, BHA after you shave your face. Please do not. I've made that mistake before. You're going to have a breakout. You do not want to use retinol, anything exfoliating on your face for a few days after you shaved. Please don't. I've made the mistake and I had a huge breakup. It was terrible. All right. Now I'm going to hydrate my face while I set up and then I'm going to wash my hair. So the next is the hair. I'm not going to do anything on my face because I'm going to wash my hair first. I'm going to need to wash the face around my hairline after I wash my hair because of product. Do you feel me? So whenever I wash my hair, I wash my face afterwards. So that should be a staple because you're going to have product from your conditioner around your hairline, probably on your face if it gets there. So let's do that. All right, now I'm in the shower and I'm going to start off by wetting my hair. Obviously it is saturated with water, that's important. First, I'm gonna start with this Super Slip Prebiotic Primer from Curlsmith. It's my first time using this, and this is to be used before the shampoo to clean the scalp and then protect it from the shampoo. And now I'm using the Wash & Scrub Detox Probiotic product from Curlsmith as well. I use a lot of shampoo and conditioner and I realized that I didn't need as much, but this feels really good on the scalp. My hair definitely feels like it's getting washed really well and it feels like it's invigorated. Almost like there's some kind of eucalyptus in the product, I'm not sure, but this does feel really, really good. So I'm gonna rinse this out and now I'm gonna use a conditioner. I have been swearing by this Tresemme conditioner because I buy these in bulk and I go through conditioners a lot because I like to condition my hair. And if you know that I used to just do co-washes all month and then wash my hair once a month. I've changed my ways. I like to change things every now and again and I've enjoyed this. I have not seen any issues with it. Now I'm going to detangle my hair with this detangler from Amazon and also all links are going to be below in the description box. I like this detangler because it opens up so if I get a snag it's going to help me not rip through my hair and I won't lie to you. I'm pretty rough with my hair. My hair's an accessory. I do take care of it but I don't want to sleep over it okay. And then I'm not going to put a leave-in conditioner in my hair today. I normally do but I'm not going to put one in right now and then I'm putting my hair up in this towel wrap and then we're gonna shower so I'm gonna wash my face because like I said the product will get onto the face specifically around the hairline so I'm starting off with Panoxyl acne foaming wash this is fantastic for acne it has sal acid in it which breaks down the oil in our pores so this has 10% benzoyl peroxide that is a salicylic acid okay I like to put this on my face 
just in certain areas i avoid the brows because i am microbladed okay i love to put this in the back of my neck on my ears as you saw because i want to break down any conditioner any product on those areas because that leads to clogged pores and it's just nasty you feel me i do put this on my armpits as well because girl this is the plug it breaks down the oil it cancels out bacteria when you sweat your sweat is not going to be interacting with odor causing bacteria that means you're not going to what have body odor so this pan Oxal acne foaming wash I talked about at nauseum. It works amazingly. My shower gel today, I'm using this one from Bath and Body Works. I absolutely love these aromatherapy body washes. This is the eucalyptus and spearmint stress relief one. It's just so good. And my sponge is from Amazon. This is a sapo from Ghana. This is what I've used since I was a child. I've not used anything else to wash my body. Okay. Now, after this, I'm gonna use the Tree Hut Peach Sorbet Shea Sugar Scrub. This smells amazing. Do you hear me? It smells so stinking good. Now, I exfoliate a lot. I like to exfoliate my skin, even though I have dry skin, I know. I, anyway, I like to do it. And, and here, I'm gonna focus on my elbows, on my back, you know, back knee, just rough skin back there. Wanna focus on that. I do exfoliate my glutes, okay? I do exfoliate my groin. That's important for ingrown hairs. And then I exfoliate my feet normally, but you know, I had a pedicure, so I didn't do that today, but I did exfoliate my legs a little bit. I do like to focus on the back of my thighs often as well because of the bumps, the strawberry skin that tends to get over there. So I do that, but it just depends. I did this the other day, so this really was more of a touch up for me. And then of course, because I have dry skin and one, and I like to exfoliate, and I've done that today, using this Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner is important, honey, okay? I like to turn off the water using an ample amount, putting this all over the body, then rinsing it off. This works so good. Good. I love using this on vacation when it's really hot and of course at home because it adds another layer of protection on my skin before I put on my lotion on my moisturizer. Okay, so for skincare, I've already put on one layer of this Innisfree Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic acid is perfecto for dry skin. I use this no matter what. And obviously hyaluronic acid is an ingredient that is in products made by lots of brands. So I'm mentioning the ingredient, not necessarily the actual brand, but this is great. And I believe this is an affordable product too. I already applied one layer of this because I wanted to moisturize my skin, hydrate my skin before it got dry while I was lotioning my body. I'm going to apply another layer of this because because I find that it just adds more hydration to the skin and you can do that because this is a serum. It's not like it's gonna crumble up and do anything strange, you feel me? And my skin feels like a baby's bottom, honey hairless it feels so good now i put the excess on my hands don't waste your product on my eyes i already applied this fenty skin eye cream thick and smooth eye cream with its rich peptide eye cream this stuff is thick and it is smooth it is great so i've done that now i'm keeping it real simple because i just shaved my face let's do spf oh my god i almost used this super goop daily dose vitamin c and spf but i wanted to tell you because I'm not gonna use this, why? It has an active in it that is likely gonna burn or cause irritation because I just shaved my skin. So I'm not going to use vitamin C right now. Just an example of what not to do when you have freshly shaved skin. I've been enjoying and blowing through this Peter Thomas Roth Vitamin Defense suns Sunscreen Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Creamy Serum. <laughs> I've been blowing through this and it's almost done. I've been enjoying it. So two fingers, you gotta protect your skin even if you don't shave. But definitely when you do shave, you feel me? It's gonna look like a lot, but this is the amount you supposed to be putting on your face. You know me? Make sure you doing that. Oh, and get the neck and chest, please, okay? Signs of aging <laughs> up here on your neck and your chest, baby. Look, it feels like a lot. Rub it into place and then leave it. Allow it to absorb a little bit and then come back and do some more rubbing love how the skin looks okay all right i just found this mazani heat screen heat protectant spray in my cabinet so i'm gonna use this it helps shield against heat damage up to 450 degrees fahrenheit and then t3 sent me this box and this is a t3 featherweight saw max it's got the drying concentrator styling concentrator diffuser and a comb attachment we're gonna just use the comb today because we ain't doing no flat iron type stuff i just need to straighten my hair enough to get my hair braided tomorrow okay so this is what we got inside okay let's get this let's just open this up this looks pretty cool i hope this is fast that's what i'm hoping for this is how the settings look which is pretty cool and then this is the cooling part this is so sleek and so cute now i'm gonna turn it on what are the oh so since i want this this is the 
the texture option I will choose. Oh, all right, there it is. <laughs> Not you already sprayed me in the face. Wow. Hold on. Dang, this thing scared me. <laughs> Honey, you went right in for it. Jeez. You weren't even trying to wait a second. Like, dang, homie. In high school, you was a man, homie. <laughs> what in the world? I cannot. Okay, let's get this here down. I I always be having a part, sort of, kind of, even when you sound. Let's do the part again. Okay, so here's one side of my hair. Looks like a healthy chunk in the back, you feel me? Actually, before I forget, let's spray the heat screen now because I don't want to forget that I haven't put it all over this side of my hair. All right, let's turn this back on. I tell you, this looks good. I do like the paddle brush well, the, yeah, the paddle brush style of blow dryer that I have from Amazon. And I think there's another brand that has it. I can't remember the name right now. Because you're brushing the hair as it gets straight. So it just feels more natural. But this is working really well, so. It's given length, honey. Talk about the length. My hair is fine. Okay, my hair is fine. I have fine hair. I do have breakage. It's life. You can't have money, blessings, favor from God and edges. You know, you got to pick some. <laughs> and I'll give the edges up, okay? I'll give up these edges, honey. Oh, wait, I have twisted. Oh, man, I almost, I almost braided again. This is so weird for me. I don't do this. I'm just trying to get it away from my face and then twist it. What? Oh, my God. That's what I just did. I don't even know what that was. Okay, it's hard to twist it on this side because I'm a right-handed. All right, we just wanna twist it down and then I am going to put on a cap over this and my headband wig. Just, you know, for today and tomorrow morning as I travel to the location because I can't go like this to soccer practice, hello. So hair is done. I realized that I forgot to shave. I'm so annoyed. I did so much in the shower. I forgot to shave, so I'm gonna shave, if not tonight, tomorrow, but you get the idea. Just shave the body, girl, because I'm lasering, so I shave. I'm gonna shave my whole body, arms, legs, groin, armpits, the whole thing. Okay, I just have it in these two right now, and yeah, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. This is the wig right here. I've had this since, what, COVID times, I think. AliExpress, you feel me? Nothing too wild and crazy. It's the headband wig. Remember when headband wigs were all the rave? I don't know if folks still doing that or not, but shoot, I do. I wear this to the gym. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on. And this is just gonna, again, maybe a little decent until tomorrow. We've got a comb in the back. And then we're gonna put this strap down. And then I'm gonna put this back hair into a ponytail after I put on this headband. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. Right now, I'm in the Starbucks parking lot. Not parking lot. In a, what's it called? You know what I'm saying? In line. I'm gonna get my coffee and then go to the braiding salon. I hate that my old, my other braider can't do it. She's not available, so I'm going to a new place. But it is what it is. I want to get my hair braided because I'm sick and tired of doing all the hair washing and styling every day on vacation. Although I love my slick back pony, my bun. It just looks so good on me, and I feel so confident when my hair is slicked back. I just love everything off my face. I just didn't want to deal with the hassle. So I'm going to the hair salon today and then my mom comes in. So I'm going to go get her from Jesus. Yo, what was that? Did they just throw something out of the window? That just scared me. This lady is so, oh, <laughs> yo, I thought a bird just flew out of this lady's window. The child in the back just threw something out and it jumped so fast. I thought it was a freaking bird. I was going to say they got birds in their car. <laughs> and then the mom just got out and shook her head and picked it up. It was a blankie. Oh my God. A small blankie with a little head on it. Okay. So yeah, I, my mom comes in today. So I'm going to get her from the, air, from the airport. And then when I go home, I already packed my suitcases. I zipped them up because I used to wait until the morning of and then zip things up. No, no more. I'm zipping it up. Days beforehand. Put it by the door. I ain't got no time to be now I'm thinking oh my god it's over wait I have to take things out I hate that pressure I hate it and then I have my coach carry on because I have a lot of stuff I know it's a problem okay I'm gonna shave tonight and then I'm gonna do my nails 
tonight as well. I have some editing to do. And you know, I love my nubs better when I need to do a lot of typing. I can't with the nails. I can't with the click, clack, clack, clack. You feel me? So yeah, off to the braiding salon. <laughs> All right, I'm back home now. And here are my braids. I won't lie to you. When I first turned around and looked in the mirror, I was like, what? Because I did tell I wanted a side part. And I'm used to the way that my other hair braider braids my hair. I don't braid my hair very often, but I'm used to how she braids my hair. And when she braids it, it's not as flat and then the braids, you see? So when I saw the part, I was like, oh my God, what? In my head, I said, oh my God, what? But now it has grown on me. I get it. It's, it's to allow it to lay down better, I suppose. All braiders are different. I get it. The braider was absolutely sweet. She was very, very sweet. What I can say to just mess me up a little bit was the fact that when I got the, what's it? I called to reschedule my appointment because I had to change the time because I had other stuff planned today. I asked how long it would take and I asked how many braiders it was because I don't go to hair salons to get my hair braided. I normally have someone come to my house. So the lady said it would take three hours and I was like one braider or two and she said one. I said, okay, I'm thinking, wow, this braider must be fast. Well, this took five hours and that includes the whole dipping thing. But I mean, the dipping doesn't take very long. So she was very, 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 very sweet. I cannot deny that, but I was like, dang, good thing I have moved my appointments because I, I was not ready to be there for five hours. That's number one. But I love how light the braids are. They're a lot lighter than my other braids that I normally get, which I'd only get like once in a while. They are way lighter, which I noticed. And I'm like, what kind of hair did she use? She said expressions. I don't know if it's just the method that she did, but I love that these braids are a lot lighter. And I'm hoping that this edge control or whatever she used to lay down doesn't get flaky because in the other one I had issues with it getting flaky after a few days so we're gonna see I'm excited I like the length of it it's not too long it's not too short it's very nice there's that and like I said I'll do my nails and love it at first I was concerned that the braids themselves were too small making my head look really big and round but it's growing on me it just needed it, it needed some time to grow on me